Aura Cannabis took this notion of how do we make cannabis more inclusive and more interesting for different audiences. Uh, marijuana is going mainstream. And why can't it be beautiful? It's no longer sold in a back alley. It's sold on Fifth Avenue. So let's keep up. Cannabis for medical and recreational use is now legal in 38 states and the District of Columbia. It's one of the fastest growing industries worldwide, emerging into the mainstream, directly enhancing the quality of our lives. And we're here in California, the first state to legalize the medical use of cannabis with Aura Cannabis, which is elevating the experience, taking it to a new level of refinement and sophistication. So Vero, how did you get started? Okay, we got started, my partners and I got started in 2015. We were the first to get a cultivation license in San Francisco. And we got into it because one, we love the plant. Right. And two, in cannabis, what we feel is that that plant can enhance your day to day. Someone like me, for example, I don't know that much about cannabis. I imagine educating the public is, is crucial. Absolutely. What we want the consumers to be asking when they go to a dispensary is, is this indoor grown? Is the pre-roll trim or is it with 100% flour? These are really important questions to understand what you're getting in terms of quality for the price that you're paying. It's great to see all of the stages. What's next? Let's go to the state-of-the-art flowering room. Carrie, let me tell you what differentiates Aura Cannabis. One, it's quality. Look at the quality on this. Secondly, consistency. Whatever you taste today, you're gonna taste six months from now, nine months from now. And the biggest thing is the exotic strains that you see all around us. When you realized that you had a quality product, what was your vision for bringing it to market? When we went to dispensaries, all we saw was product geared towards men, alpha smokers, the bro. And what we wanted was something that was missing. No one was catering to the female demographics. And that's when Zenpak, we reached out to them and said, this is our vision. How can we execute on this? So Vero and his team came to us with a very specific goal. You know, they look at the entire product space and realizing that there's a very underserving market, which is the female audience. We've collected a few items that really represents the research we've done. And let me show you. So this is what you didn't want to do. Right. Now, for example, you see quite a bit of these illustrations on the market right now. It's really targeting, I think, a younger audience. Yeah. With, you know, this kind of high contrast graffiti style graphic. Mm -hmm. Like where, you know, you see a lot of cartoonish drawings. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. a little tough to say even if that's a candy or something else. Yeah, it looks, very, like you said, very cartoonish. Right. We also see quite a bit of the more medical look, tubes and all that. Yeah, that looks very, very clinical. Right. Not very appealing, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, as we look at branding and packaging as a whole, we realize these things are really not working that well. So we're trying to look for inspiration somewhere else. And here's what we found. So Carrie, you can see here, um, we find a lot of great inspirations in cosmetic industry. You can uh, feel they use a lot of texture papers mm -hmm. and they use a really subtle color. Mm -hmm. And not only that, they use what we call deboss and foil effect. What we want to achieve here is we want to create a portable and lovely package that people can put it in their purse or your backpack. This kind of slim and narrow packaging size and proportion is found to be like the most ideal in terms of like holding your hand and really we think it creates a really good platform size-wise for the pre-rolls uh, from the Aura products. Um, a lot of these early prototypes helped us to speed up the design process. Uh, although they look really rough and take us probably, you know, five to ten minutes to build, um, actually inform a lot of the design decisions we made later on. And one thing, one thing which is also uh, so engaging here is for all of us, the experience of packaging has to do with, you know, opening a box or closing it, and you've really got some innovative uh, things happening here. One of the things you can do is create a very unique unboxing experience, like a grand um, reveal of your product, so that people can remember you by. I mean, this is, uh, it's just so great. I, I can't wait to see the final product. 
So those looks like some uh, early sketches. Yeah, here. that's how we came up with Aura's pattern. So that's what we call Aura Cloud. Aura Cloud. Yeah, we got this inspired from Smoke Puff. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and um, by laying different clouds on top of each other with different transparencies, mm -hmm. we want to create that mysterious, sophisticated, mm -hmm. and yet really relaxing vibe. I feel relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> what are the what are the colors about? Uh, do they have meaning? Yeah, so color as a function to represent different flavor and different effect. Different effect. For example, for for this one, it's a uh, it's called flare. Flare. So I've got a flare here, and uh, let's see. That's that's flare. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah, watch out. Uh, it's great. So I'm gonna put that back. And uh, what have we here? That's for the pre rolls. Pre rolls. All right. Work through. Ah, that's nice. Oh. Like I said, full of surprises. Nice little magnetic closure there. And there are the pre-rolls. Wow, to say it, it does create a memorable experience. It's an experience that you want to do um, again because it's, it's fun, it's engaging. So really, really nicely done. So I have an idea. We decided to purchase some Aura Cannabis product to take it out here onto the streets of San Francisco to see what people think. What kind of product do you think is inside? Is it perfume. A perfume. Special kind of eye product. A vibrator. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Ladies makeup, maybe lipstick. It's actually. It's a joint holder. It's four joints. It's unusual. It's sleek. It's beautiful. Wow. I'm impressed. I like how the whole thing opens up. I like the design of the box. I like the compact, non-reefer look of the box. Yeah, this is really nice, the Your Life Enhanced. I really like the texture of this. It gives it that classy feel. And what do you think about the weight of the bottle? cha cha cha, -cha. <laughs> I like it. Would you all like to keep these? Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, I love this. I'm gonna have some fun tonight. I know. <laughs> Humankind has been enjoying cannabis for thousands of years, and now that cannabis is widely available across the country, Aura Cannabis is creating a more inclusive, accessible, and ultimately holistic experience.